Hi, so today I'm going to bring you to our mobile application for module CS4048. Here we have the initial screen which the user will be greeted with. The user can log in or sign up. Currently we have an account made so we're going to go ahead and log in. The user types in their email address which they signed up with and password. If we leave any of these blank we'll be greeted with an error symbol. If we fill in our correct password but leave out a missing digit we will be shown that authentication has failed. When we type in our full correct password and details and click login the user will be logged in successfully and brought to the home page. From here we have the main page. A user greeted with a variety of options, rental, messaging, information, administration and a user can also click under their current profile picture to go to the user profile activity. We will first go to the rental. When in the rental a user is greeted with a variety of boards which they can rent. At the moment we have three. A user can search sort the boards or directly scroll. When a user clicks on a board, they'll be greeted with a dialogue which contains extra description chips about the board. A user can then go on to rent the board. We can search for a board by going egg. This will bring up this board. Or we can sort boards by size. or we can also sort boards by levels. So we have three boards, one is beginner, one is intermediate, one is advanced. So if we click on beginner, it just shows the beginner board. If we click on intermediate, it shows the intermediate boards. And if we click on advanced, it shows the advanced boards. From here, we're gonna rent a board. We're gonna rent this lost board. So if we click rent board, from here, we're greeted with a calendar. We can see dates that have been selected already, for example the 14th, so we are not able to rent the board in this, this day. I'm going to rent the board for the 20th of May. If we click OK. Because this date is available, the booking has been confirmed. If we click back and we go to rent this board again, you'll see that the 20th of May has now been marked unavailable for rental. Once the board has been rented, we can go back to our main page. We can click on our profile picture and we'll be brought to our user profile page. From here, we can click on My Rentals. This will display a list of the current upcoming rentals for this user. You'll also be able to click these two buttons. Overview will show an overview of how many times you have rented each board. And top rentals will show you a graphical diagram of the boards as well. When in the user profile, a user can also edit their profile picture by clicking on this button. They can select the picture or take a picture. We're going to select the picture. This button has now been enabled and you can upload the new profile picture. As you can see, the new profile picture has been uploaded to our database and has been changed currently in our app. After this, the user will be able to go to messaging. Messaging allows all users that have signed up for the app to message each other. Currently, we have three chats. We're going to send a message to this user. Uh, 
As you can see, the message has been sent. A timestamp is available at the bottom of the message. A user is also able to message other new users. For example, this user. Once we message this user and we go back, the user has been added to the list of current messages. As an admin, you can also access the admin section. Here you're able to manage boards or add boards. If we go to delete this board, we are greeted with a are you sure option. If we are sure, we click yes. If we go back to rental, we can now see that this board has been deleted from our database. We can now also add another board. So we're going to call this board and we can add a description for this board. So we say it's intermediate. We can say it's fun. So these will be added to the board description. We can then select the image we want for this board. We can also add an image from the camera. We can then add the board. This board is being uploaded. If we go into manage boards, we can now see that the board has been added. This board is now also available for rental. And it is under the intermediate section. For this video, I'm going to show user sign up. The user must fill in all the details. You can enter an admin code in if you know the admin code to be given admin privileges. If we click sign up, we are greeted with these error messages. This is because some of the information is not valid. If we click validate and the information is correct, we'll then be able to sign up. As you can see, the new user profile has been created.